Okay, you'd like some help with copywriting your images using Lightroom. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is open up Lightroom, go to your library module in Lightroom, and then scroll down on the right until you see the metadata. Click on the preset dialog, go to edit presets, and then you're going to want to uncheck the first three, check the third box, and type in your information. Start it off by putting the copyright symbol and then the, the year for this year, 2015. For the copyright symbol, if you are on a Mac computer, then you hold the Option button down and hit the, the letter G. Hold Option and hit the letter G. If you're on a Windows machine, it's a little more complicated. You're going to hold the Alt button down and type the number 0169. And that will get you to the that will get you to this copyright symbol. And then under copyright status, you type it, you uh, select copyrighted. Now your images are copyrighted because you took them. If you'd like to take the further step to actually send them off to be copyrighted and you live in the States, then go to copyright.gov and click register copyright and then create a login for e-copyright. If you'd like to read more about that, how to, what all these steps are before you go through them all, go down to the tutorial and you can see this great PDF that they've made. It takes you step by step on how to register all your, all your images. It's not too difficult. The only bad thing is you have to register one image at a time, so it can take quite a while. Okay, so the rest of this is just information you type in. Type in your, your uh, website and then so that's the, that's the copyright information, but then you want to put your information in as the creator. I don't put my, I don't put my address on there, I just put my name. Again, put your, uh, put your email and again put your website. And then just give yourself a title. And that's it. You just want to make sure these other boxes are not checked. And then you're going to save this as a new preset, save current settings as a new preset, and give it a name. Um, you can call it 2015 Copyright. Then how do you use this? Well, you could, in every image you open up, go to the preset and apply that preset. A faster way to do that would be when you import files, when you import photos, have that metadata be applied during import. So when you import your, fo your photos, just apply during import the copyright. And all of that information will go right into the metadata of every photo that you import. Just make sure if you're importing somebody else's photos that you, you deselect that because that'll be, that'll be there by default. That's it. I hope that helps.